Hello, welcome to the lesson on Nano Text Editor. There are different text editors we can use in the command line interface. So, in the Linux terminal, so you can use Nano Editor, and we have another editor called as VI Editor or Vim Editor, Emacs Editor. Okay, these are all four uh, text editors you can use in the command line. I'll be showing you how we can use nano editor to create files, to edit files and to execute the files. Okay, so we'll start with the nano editor. Now go to Linux terminal. So now what we're going to do is we are going to create a text file by using nano editor. Okay, so I'll change the directory to Appleton, cd Appleton. So in this directory Appleton, I'll be creating files. Okay. So to create a file, you have to use the command nano. Okay. Nano space. Now here you have to provide the file name. Suppose the file name is uh, innova.txt. So we are creating a file innova.txt. This is a text file. Now press enter. Now you will see this innova.txt. This is the nano editor. You can see GNU nano 2.7.4. So here we can write uh, the text all of you. So hello, welcome, learning, nano editor. So you can type uh, different things here. But remember to move up or move down or going right or left you have to use arrows for example to move up you have to use up arrow to uh, go down you have to use uh, down arrow to move left you have to use uh, left arrow and right arrow remember all of you right so to save this file what we have to do is we have to use control o control o and then it will ask you file name to write innova.txt yes so we have to press enter okay press enter now now it is saved all of you to close this file okay to exit uh, nano editor you have to press ctrl x ctrl x okay now we have created a file innova.txt you can go to appleton directory you will see here innova.txt is a text file you can open this text file here right so hello welcome learning nano editor the same way uh, you can actually uh, can check the contents of the file by using cat cat innova dot txt now press enter you will see that you know these are the contents of this text file again if you want to edit or if you want to do something with the text file you can go to nano innova dot txt press enter now so now this is the file okay so how to delete a line to delete a line in the text document or using in the nano, what you do is you have to uh, you know move to the beginning of that line. So this is the beginning of the line. Now we have to press Control key. Okay, so Control and then we have to use K. Control K. Here K is uh, simply remember cut. Control K. So now you can see that you know uh, the line is removed, deleted. Okay, is that clear to all of you? Right. Suppose I'll be, uh, you know, writing uh, here, Appleton Innovations, and then um, uh, Raspberry Pi. I would be using Raspberry Pi. Right. So uh, we have typed here. I would be using Raspberry Pi. Now we will see how to cut and paste. To cut and paste, we have shortcuts. Okay. So how to cut and how to paste. To cut some line, for example, we want to cut this line. I would using Raspberry Pi. So we have a shortcut called as Control 6, number 6. Okay, you can use Control 6, all of you. Okay, right. So uh, this is a very useful thing. Uh, cut and press, uh, you can uh, actually use Control 6. Control 6. Okay. So now you can mark. So the, uh, this is the line. So Control Six is to select the entire line. So now we have selected entire line. So after selecting the entire line, the next step is 
we have to cut it okay to cut it simply control k okay so after that i uh, will be moving up and the, in this line we want to paste it to paste you have to use control u right so i have pasted here right all of you is that clear to you so i would be using raspberry p okay because i did not select i so you will see here uh, i would be using raspberry okay control k is to cut uh, line control u is to paste that particular you know line control 6 is to select uh, the text okay is that clear to you all of you these are the shortcuts you should remember while working with this uh, nano editor suppose you want to search okay so for some uh, you know word okay so here uh, there is a command to search for text what is that command so you can use control w so control w when you press control w so you will see here search search for what for example appleton appleton and press enter you will see here appleton right now our cursor is at appleton so this is the only one uh, occurrence okay only occurrence okay only one time it occurred right so we're able to find you know uh, you can search and you can find a, uh, you know word by using this control w right same way uh, we already know that how to save uh, your work to save your work at any time you can press control o okay so these are the few shortcuts we can use and uh, now i'll be saving this control o press enter and now we want to exit so to exit control x so this is how you can actually play with the text in the nano editor even you can create python file or you can create uh, a uh, you know cpp or java file by using this nano editor so we'll uh, you know uh, work with this nano editor uh, while writing python programs while creating projects we'll be using nano editor okay i hope all of you are able to understand uh, about nano editor thank you